Welcome to Along the Path, February 10th. Today I want to challenge you with this question. Are you living in a maybe? Thought provoking. I know it's going to speak to some people today as it has spoken to me. Are you living in a maybe? And I'm not talking about a place of rest where you're not to do anything. I'm not talking about you're in some process and you're waiting, you know, for things to line up. I'm talking about an area of your life where maybe you're just kind of letting it hang out. Maybe you're just avoiding making a decision. Maybe you're waiting for someone else to make a decision. Maybe you're waiting for the infamous breakthrough that God will provide. And I am here to challenge you today as I am challenging myself. God does not want us to live perpetually in a maybe. God wants us to live in a yes or a no. We're either walking in something or we're choosing not to and God is telling us no. But living in a prolonged, extended maybe, I don't believe is God's best for our lives. When you live in a maybe, it doesn't cost you anything. What maybes do oftentimes cause us to be disheartened. Maybes ebb and flow. Our lives are not necessarily going forward and they're not going backward. We're sort of treading water and living in a maybe. Now, COVID, of course, in the pandemic, there's shutdowns and not to minimize the loss and the financial struggles that people have. They put us all across the world into this pause. And maybe this and maybe that. And I understand that. That's not what I'm talking about. I think you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about those things in your life that God puts his finger on. And sometimes we just don't want to deal. And I believe God is saying today, he wants you to. He wants you to look at it. He wants you to count the cost about it. And he wants you to be willing to do what it takes to move from maybe to yes. God, to me, looks for our spiritual agreement. Sometimes we don't have the will or the way to figure it all out. But we can give God our yes. We can give an assent, A-S-S-E-N-T, an assent, an affirmation, and a yes to God. But we have to be willing to count the cost. And are we willing to pay the price that making decisions and going forward will put on us? See, relationships, dreams, financial um, resources, they put a demand on you. Anytime you have a relationship, emotionally, there's a demand. It's a good thing. It's a healthy demand. When you have a job and a career and you're trying to invest or you want to start a business, there's a demand put on you to make that happen, to see success, to, to gain profit, to prosper. There's a demand put on you, your mind, your, your resources, your assets. It's a good demand. Those things can be avoided, though, and that's what I'm after today. What area of your life are you content to stay in the maybe where God is saying, no, I have a yes for you, but you need to make it happen. You need to step into the yes. Or maybe there's something that's a no, and you keep letting it hang out in maybe land. God is done with all that. It's time to live in your yes. Most of the things that you value, anything you value, your home, your car, your children, your, your spouse, your beach house, your career, anything you value, life itself, cost you something. You're willing to put your resources, emotional, uh, your time, your talent for things that you value. If you're not willing to do that and pay the price to show that something has value, it's really easy to leave it in maybe land. 
And I'm encouraging you today that God wants to move you out of maybe to yes. And I do want to read scripture in James, familiar to a lot of people in the NIV. I'm going to read it out of the Passion Translation. Um, chapter 1, verse 6. Just make sure you ask God, empowered by confident faith, without doubting that you will ever receive. For the ambivalent person, and a maybe is ambivalent, believes one minute and then they doubt the next. Being undecided makes you become like the rough seas driven and tossed by the wind. You're up one minute and tossed down the next. When you are half-hearted and wavering, it leaves you unstable. In the NIV, it says, a double-minded person is unstable in all their ways. Here where it says it leaves you unstable, it means restless and disengaged. Have you ever felt restless about something? And you do all this mental gymnastics and emotional, and then you do nothing. Nothing changes. You disengage. And you live out of that maybe with those particular people or circumstances or goals. And I'm saying to you today, and I believe the Lord wants to exhort us, you have to move into your yes. It's time. It's time. Come on, we can do this. It says, when you are half-hearted and wavering, it leaves you unstable. Can you really expect to receive anything from the Lord when you're in that condition? And here's what I want to encourage you with. If you are willing to pay the price to move out of maybe to yes, you need to pray that to Father God. You need to say, Lord, I'm ready. I'm willing. I've count the cost. I'm looking to my best discernment and wisdom to figure out what I need to do. I don't want to live in a maybe anymore. I want to move to yes. You know, the word amen means let it be so, or so it is. And in first, I'm sorry, second Corinthians chapter 120, it says this, God's promises find their yes of fulfillment in him. So those promises that God gives you and the ones you're dreaming about can only be fulfilled in him. And as his yes and our amen, so his yes, I have this for you. And we say, amen, let it be so ascend to God, we bring him glory. We need to give our mental ascent, A-S-S-N-E-N-T, and us let that ascend, A-S-C-E-N-D, to God through Jesus Christ, that we're in alignment, we're in agreement, we're not just going to wait around. We're going to not make something happen out of the will of God, but understand that God we, God can't meet a need unless there's one created. I learned that about two years ago. You have to step with all the best intentions and, and wisdom God's given you into the next phase. Create that need. God will meet you there. Trust me, he will. He wants to. We cannot sit around, especially at this Time on the earth when God, everything is groaning and everything is rising up to say the greatest awakening, the greatest glory of God is coming over the earth. All this darkness, but the glory of God is coming. We need to get a resounding yes in our spirits and stop living in the maybe. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. I know you got this. You can watch this video on my um, webpage, onepathonepassion.com. You can also check it out on YouTube. Um, share it with a friend. If you want to make some comments, would love to hear your feedback, and I'll catch you next time. Don't live in the maybe. Those days are over. Yes, yes, yes.